Sweetie. I'm sorry, Sandy. Oh, your mama was right. There's no more. There's only this much left, sweetie. But... All right. This is the last time we can put the... It's the last time we can put the air conditioner on, because we are... WTF, I'm unplugging you, bitches. We're there. We're there. Number nine, number nine, yeah, number code, error nine. Of the WTF experience. Yeah, I changed the name. I can do that. You're laughing, sweetie. You're dying. I'm not redoing the videos, I'm not. I'm not gonna watch you dehydrate and then I'm feeding you my own pee, or your own pee. I forgot what I was doing, but you got so sick over the McDonald's butter and I told him in the line, I told him, you know me, you, you know the name of her guinea pig. Oh, he had forgotten, oh, tell me again. No, no, no. The, the water, it's not good. It means it's in my coffee. I guess I'm immune to it, but you were not. You're from a different time, Zanti. You know what it means in Greek? Golden sword, golden shield. You hold your father's shield. You, in battle, you... You put yourself in front of me, kid. Wow. You're gonna take the hit where... You saw that last... episode. Let's just call it episode. Is that hallucinatory? The ladies who brought us water and bananas yesterday... They, uh... They tried, they started to do our protests. They are so sweet, see, they put one McDonald's. I don't know what's in the bag, but trash, see? The, where it says hemp debut on top of the Santa Barbara Independent that did not, they didn't even come to laugh at me. Just cause I, I did one thing in 1999 in your magazine, your newspaper, with friends, and then you turned it into what it is where I have in that newspaper that I enjoyed. Not only do you take out the, uh, the classifieds, except for that one harpist, yay. One local who's still supporting you guys, you know? But that you lose photos, like you, you lost a photo that I took myself of Iggy Pop. It was gonna be the thing. When I don't go up to celebrities. I don't do that. That bothers them, they don't need that. But I always say there's one person and I always said Iggy Pop, because all growing up, especially in music and saying, no, you must stand up for that at least. You stand up for the music. You don't make it about the money. You show that you're into it and that you will evolve, give the person a chance. But instead, they dissect why it hasn't been working in the past. You're under a microscope, but we can't do the same to you. That's it, man. You saw, huh, honey? Oh, you threw up again. Yeah, they kicked you out of the last place because we didn't smell too good. What do you think? She's throwing up on your McDonald's water. That the guy just went. Yeah, you know, it happens sometimes. It, you know, it's happened over the decades. Why are you pointing it out? Banned. We're doing it tonight. That's how it was planned. And anyways, we jolt this stuff with so much, 
Something. Must be ammonia. Make you throw up like that. And ammonia is a type of bleach. And Iggy Pop was known at one time when everyone was like, he's not dead yet? Like, every time his name would come up, they'd be like, oh, he's dead. He's not? At that time, he was begging, like I'm doing, to get bleach. He was saying that the bleach was for his hair. Talk to Kurt Cobain. Yeah, really? He just says he wants some pancakes or something. You know what I mean, UGP? UGP vlogs. It hurt me that you sent that link. I mean, because I know you don't know me well enough. That wasn't the thing to do, because, right, it instantly pushed me, and you knew I was dealing with these trolls, and that's like some sort of X you know, jilted lover thing that he's doing there. And then just the way he's mentioning, the way he labels was like, that's my sister. And they're turning on me? Like, I, they're the only ones you knew, you know? But you have to stop them by not sending those kinds of things to bipolars because it makes us distrust you. That's just letting you know. You said you had something. I forgot what label you gave it. I think you have ADHD, right? Like me? Yeah, I can see that. Right? The manic is, we're up at three in the morning. But you kept saying at three in the morning that the only reason I could be up is that I was on meth. So all of a sudden, a bipolar mind goes, wait a minute, why are you, it's 3 a.m. I, I, I never talked to you at 3 a.m. Didn't you guys hear the, I mean, I think that was a live stream, so I was like, aren't you backing up or something? You were like, no, I'm jumping in. You said a bunch of things. I got offended, but not really, right? I'm just surprised, like, what the hell? And then you're like, all right, I'm going to go to bed. Who does that? My sister, Lesia, my eldest. So, yeah, but that's not ADHD. That's whatever they have, and that's genetic, and that's European um, from that area, Scotland. So you should can contact my sisters, more like it, but they're gonna be like, what? Are you still doing drugs? Are you like my brother where well, we don't know? And then he, he keeps jumping off the wagon. He's telling us he's taking these drugs that are making him sick so he can't even drink. Yeah, it's true. And so I said, Dan Fonte would laugh because he knows I, I, I just can't get the book because it's underneath all this trash in my house, right? It started out two years ago. I just didn't come out of my house. And people tried to come from all over. With So much money was spent. Oh, my God. And all they did was blab behind my back. And then I would get occasionally these letters. Not even letters. Like I said, I wanted snail mail. I said, take your time before you say anything to me. Instead, they, they want to do it their way. No, uh, I got things to do. I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking at my phone. Rick, rink, rink, rink. Somebody's telling me that my phone's broken. I know it's always broken. You're saying you're having hearing problems. This is a true story. Now I get this thing written back. Right after this thing, where that's all I say is that, whoa, first you handed the phone when, when I'm not done. We weren't done. It's impolite to just hang up and say, I can't take where you're going with the conversation. And I have to tell her, but you never let me finish. Now, until she understands for that for all these years with her little brother, she never let him finish the phrase. And he does all these movies showing that every time in the outside world, all these different people, at least when they're treating her brother, it's right there in a video. I think she just goes and she swipes and you go and then you jump back into bed. Well, I was saying, oh my God, I don't know if I should stay here. Should I take a chance and see how far I can get with Kitty? I mean, I've showed you that the, I am persona non grata. It's not a joke anymore. This is real life. UGP and Joe Kaiser. Delete your channels.
prove it for the Lord. Like I'm making my sister make up with my mother for that letter that she wrote on my mama's like 60th birthday and all these people came but my sister did not want to go and that's not Nina that wouldn't be her style my god she was playing with me trying to explain when I got there and I'm looking at this music and I'm saying we got to play this right yeah that's what we've been practicing and I suddenly read I suddenly do a Bodnar thing I have to read the thing do you know what it is? No, you know it by memory. Just close your eyes and start playing. I look at the thing. Now I got to read it. It says it's in another language, but I understand it's lugubrious. Death. It says death. It's like it was, we were supposed to play it at a funeral when they're already gone and they don't have to get sad about it. Meanwhile, there's these people saying they're taking, they're digging up bodies from this cemetery true story because you know they're considering cutting being tattoos you know anyone with a holocaust tattoo we're not allowing the lord to just ban the word holocaust in youtube and all social media no let's make it so that they can just go but they'll go holla and we go yeah the holocaust yeah the holla and then it's going to turn into that. I'll turn it into Halo. Everyone's going to be saying it. But meanwhile, they say to me, man, when you were really nervous that other time and you're freaking out and you just learned that some mole contacted these Bodnars and suddenly they are playing the game, which is, um, for those of you who don't know, it's called the um, Continuing Saga of the Secret Life of Thomas Grant P.I. It's a real thing. It's a game invented by the Lord. Uh, if you look it up, if you Google it, just Google Tom Grant P.I. Courtney Love and welcome to the game. Now, the game hasn't been going for quite a while. People are upset because they were getting these movies about Christian and Kurt Death Wish, which is a documentary that we haven't been able to, f to finish, right? It's our conspiracy theory that kicks butt, right? Thomas Grant P.I. from Lompo. Yeah, look him up. And no, he killed El Duce. You'd be like, who is that? Find out that Courtney Love didn't like the idea that Christian Pfaff, jealous, prodigy, was just gonna dump the base. She was like, I'm unhappy with Hole. They're a bunch of A holes. At that time, whatever you're thinking now, Courtney, I don't know. I'm going by that time because he's bipolar. If you are, you did it the very wrong way by, you know. The minute the intervention happened, man. The minute that you said that on Barbara Walters, you see how old it is. Bam. I have to read now in this new world, you allowed your daughter to sell that guitar with the baby fork and spoons and all that? Ask American Spy Fox, he's got something about it. See, Charles, my nephew, I, I'm not against you. You know I'm on your side, I'm your brother. We're journalists. But you did take off right away in the beginning, very polite comments on your YouTube site since the two this two year, well, we go way back. We go six years back. Since I've been holed up in my house, pretty much. Just concentrating on you. Yeah. You, I tag you in all my videos. You don't even give me a kudos when I say something really cool to you. When it's positive, you do leave it up, but you don't make, like, I do. I know you can say, well, it's too big. Well, yeah, you were working it with the Thomas Grant PI. Oh, I don't want to talk about that story. I do. There's nothing to do. It's COVID. Let's back up because you got money and I didn't. That's right, honey. I'm going to, we're going for broke. We're going to just make the car die, honey. And then that's my livelihood. You're in Ohio. Yeah, that cello is that house with the studio, the way you have it. 
Maybe even the, the motel, right? Where you kept Thomas Grant and he was standing at a door. He didn't want to do anything anymore, I know. He, stand, he didn't want to show his face. He's filming this door, he's in this motel, and he's showing the thing like, I gotta be out of here at 11 a.m., what the hell? Do you remember that? You, were, you guys were flowing videos. You were awesome. You were awesome, man. You were telling him, I am gonna be. The, I, I, had, I had so much faith in you here. I was like, all right. I'm, I'll do anything for this guy. I still don't know. I don't care anymore. What he did was wrong. That's how you made it sound like, oh man, if he makes a big deal about that, he's just asked, can I have a, a, a seat for the CPAP machine? Because right in the luggage, it was getting messed up or something like that. And, and, and because you, you, you saw that he had, he was just saying how much, let's see, let's gamble. They, they seem to be idiots just throwing money out. I don't care if they don't, they'll probably buy my handbook because that's where I'm gonna direct them to for every question, which means legally, yeah, he has problems. Now I do a story about him having to do a little time at the Lompoc Penitentiary. You don't think that's news. You think I'm a punk. No, you're a punk. Look at your video that's making money up there right now about the Melvins. I said, take it down. You don't know. Do not say that they're envious in the title. You do not know. I do know better. I am your uncle. I know you said you didn't want to hear some kid come up to you and go, my uncle personally knew him. Doesn't matter. Maybe he was backstage and heard him. I thought you were doing this about music. The, the people in Melvin's could tell you much better what happened the day of his death than Dolly DeWitt. Cali DeWitt. Is it, Cali DeWitt was just like, like this. Cali DeWitt was just a dealer. If you listen to all the recordings of the P.I., with Kali, you can just hear that's a dealer's way. So you would have had more understanding about the death of El Duce and all that. Instead, now you guys are like, you, Charles, American Spy Fox, YouTube, you, you took that angle for a 24 hour spin live stream, like about Marilyn Manson. Johnny Depp, I mean, you took that direction before you have let anybody speak except the opposing side, which you want everyone to accept on your channel. American Spy Fox, journalist. Now, you don't help me with this tape, dude. And the Independent isn't going to help me now suddenly develop this Super 8 that I found in, in the kibbutz room at Cantor's. Are you, are you understanding this LAPD do not like Thomas Grant P.I.? He did not leave your house that fateful day after taking all the donations of your subscribers that I can't get to put in one dollar in the cash app. Well, then I'm protesting. It says, my cello is dead. And I blame it on this mad mother. Mothers against drunk drivers, this is Tipper Gar. Now go and listen to, I don't know, the 90s version of Eminem. Just listen to the whole album. America! White America! telling us what to do. They don't do mad anymore on any of those things, but you made us cuckoo, cuckoo. Meanwhile, why shouldn't we take meth then? Do you really think, like, we're gonna forget about it? Look at that camera, I want a Leica. Like the one broken by those policemen. They were, suddenly, everyone can do it. Wait, UGP, did you tell me that some auditor the citizens surrounded him, grabbed his camera, and they were running over and over and back and forth and back and forth. And he's going, oh my God. Yeah. Now, when I said, is that what happened? Which, it sounds cool, right? If, if that was really on film, that 
like what happened to me where in the parking lot of the CVS, they were going, hey, hey, and everyone was surrounding me. I'm going, don't you know, a bipolar doesn't like to be surrounded, right? And they're like, oh, what do we do now? You know, mental, mental. And I had the camera and they, they were all saying the same thing. And I had, I was photographing my feet going, but this is the parking lot, but this is the parking lot. They're just like, we don't want to know. Give us the camera, give us the camera. And then they grab it. But see, had it been like now, that was my thing. They just grabbed it and threw it. But had it been what you told me, which I was trying to go, is that the guy you're talking about? He, they throw it under my car, right? They, they're bashing it with my own car. Would you imagine now they're, now it's like, warriors, come out to play. And everyone comes out of the CVS saying, he did not get vaccinated twice. <gasps> and they all pound me. But in the end, they're all going to say, even if you guys watch it, you guys are going to go, well, I think it was wrong. I don't know. Boom. Or is that really true? Boom. So that's the end result. So what I want to know is it's probably super tame what you told me. And that's what I'm learning. I want to tell you for everyone. I might have found a loophole here. And I found it when memory would be taken or the camera's taken away is that we can make it, if you can remember all those things that you're supposed to photograph just when they tell you, you just photograph the thing in your head. I know, now for me it's easy because I got a photographic memory, but everyone can get it. You, but we usually freak out and stress. We, I don't remember what happened. You know what I mean? If someone's got a gun in your hand, they're like, what was the serial number? But actually we could do it if we knew in our brain like, well, he's not gonna shoot me. This is all just an act. So now you got this thing, you could look at, I think, oh, it's a Remington, does something Luger, like, does, does that make anything to you, officer? You will, yeah, yeah. Now we know with our computer system, which people you can do this, Jobs would have told you, with your phones now, but with good outlets, like no BTL audio, because that's just messing more, you know, if the cops right there and the, you guys have to, no, radio frequency waves, it's a, yeah, since the 70s, ooh. You can take a plane down with that. With a little kid just going, hey, I got these CVS. See, I can take you down, CVS. Why were you in there? Why did they kick you out? Well, I went in because I was thinking, some kid's gonna have these. Do you see this? It says it's FCC. These kids, walkie-talkies, nine bucks. Come on, now watch. <clears throat> Look how close we are to the airport. Yes, the Santa Barbara Airport, but it's, yeah, but do you see these wires there, there, there? So now it's bouncing off, oh, kid, just say, talk to one of your friends. Hey, Bob, I got the beep, 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 beep. All of a sudden, you will see a plane go, <laughs> because one guy was going, what? Yeah. Whoop. And like the car that I'm never going to get now, I realize, that's why I'm depressed. It's there. It's, I just can't move it because of registration. I give up. The registration is, it's the stimulus check that's not arriving. Ah, it's so hilarious. It's the exact price. And then what would I do? And it was sitting there. It's just, it's unjust. If it was sitting there since this last Thanksgiving and it's Ford, do you think they'd have it together with the DMV? But they're gonna go, no, it's the DMV's fault. They're not even gonna write like, we're sorry, it was our fault that we didn't. They just go, didn't you tell them the blah, blah, blah. Like you're supposed to know all this stuff. When you don't, you can just be like, do you know what a First Amendment audit is? Silence, yeah, we ask the questions. It's all legal what we're doing, so you can't be going, no, you can't photograph, it's private. You can't say all this stuff. You have to right away go, well, whoa, He's the only one interested in a town of 86,000 people. He's been staying out all night. There's nobody in the streets. He runs into homeless and, and cops. Been doing it for two years in this town. And for six years, I've been telling this story about Johnny Fibo, and nobody will look it up. And lately on the Sabbath, I knew I wasn't supposed to do anything, so I just looked into my job, being like, I'm not gonna do my job. And I saw this furry potato, and nobody went and looked at it 
fast enough because when those live streams or things are done, once it's controversial, it's, and then they make it so it comes back up, but now you have to search for it so difficultly and nobody's got the time. They're all on the next thing, yeah. But I really felt that when, when all I was asking was, can you just go analog with me? There's no, um, there's no COVID reason, but it is because COVID just made everything that I was complaining about super obvious, super evident. And when I was pointing it out, whoa, can you just put this sign on the other door and then everyone will understand? They're like, no, you know, in three weeks, they will have given us some other rule. And they don't explain that. And then they put Donald Trump's face with this doctor, and that's the image. That's the image, yeah. You guys can, whatever. I don't know who has that media, but oh. Not the alternative press, not the free press. We found other symbolic imagery. That's another thing. You gotta be really careful. That store just did completely the opposite. It said, let us work together, right? We, that's their first thing on this big sign about COVID. And I point that the guy wasn't even doing his job, right? We were doing it for him. So we were working together, but it wasn't the employee of the grocery outlet. And we're, we were in front and they were hassling us in the parking lot, which I believe is public they everyone in this shopping mall which is nothing don't worry except Jaime who who's my friend and knows but also he, he he's old school he's European he was doing this wood oven nobody in town could do that like me he was the one place that did slices the one other place because of a security guard causing too much trouble place got torn down a place that was like epic where the guy from the 80s, just like this Presto Pasta, did a uh, public access. And we did a public access. Here it goes. That's, where the, that's how I got in the fight with that security guard. I was coming to the door. He didn't like me filming. He was acting like the security guard probably did for Jacko. I was off my meds. I was playing in the streets. It was so, you know, I'm trying to do a weird method of playing the cello. I had this electric with all these skulls on it. I mean, all this stuff should have warned him to just back up, but he was the classic big old security guard who were bouncers during my shows and they would beat up my friends and then use them as battering ramps to actually open these doors. You know, these doors that have the thing. And then when the cops arrived, Santa Barbara cops, right there on the corner, I think I tried to tell you downtown where the club, nightclub changed three time, times, different kind of nightclubs. But the best time was, was when I was, I was just uh, with 12 people and we saw Julio Disgracias, which is uh, um, Angelo, the sax player, singer, nah, just musician extraordinaire, just loon. Yeah, um, he taught me how to, after the concert, to uh, make a bong, or we'll make a pipe out of uh, apple and a banana. See, that's good advice. He didn't go, oh shit, stop doing that. You're smoking. I, everyone else was doing that for my lungs. I couldn't. No, he was just like, dude, can I show you how to do this? I'd rather I'd, I'd smoke it like this. And, and then he was showing me. It was so awesome. And I learned something like, whoa, if I'm ever on the streets and I'm like, I want to smoke this, I can, you know, just be like, can you please give me a banana, an apple, apple? I used to work here at the Music and Arts Conservatory for 25 years. I'm still not getting off the out of that. I just told the guy, I've been an educator in this town for 25 years. And he went, it doesn't matter. Let him apologize. And the guy, like my mom, he's going, I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. You were right. Like that. Textbook. And the other guy going, all right, I've done my business here, right? You're not going not gonna to turn that into a hate crime. For the old man Abraham, I would have. 
made sure that you treat him well or have that other kid not say dudes with dudes got boobs he would have just seen like i said like my mom was saying just see the opposite seinfeld show you will start doing things oppositely it's gonna happen we'll catch up somewhere but she would never do that first attempt where i would even show her well, look, let's try it together. What were you going to do? And she was like, well, I was gonna tell you what to do. I was gonna cut off your sentences, definitely. I was gonna point out like, are you sure your doctor said that? And then flippantly, I was, gonna, uh, I was gonna say, oh, I have that too. My mama does that. Maybe I got it. Wait, didn't you say you were researching it? They, they trap themselves. And I'm just trying to tell you people like, they'll trap you in that DMV. That's what's gonna happen here. Cause that guy, I know, I smoked fentanyl with him. So I know it's not what they're tweaking on here. So you guys have to tell me what is that new tweaking thing. But he's on camera, Warren. And he told me stories, I'm pretty sure he's a felon. It doesn't matter, I don't care. He's gonna change his ways. He changed his ways. The homeless, we were doing his job. Little old ladies were coming. They gave us Bibles. And it was, I had the music. I think it was la, 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 la. And for the whole day, nobody shows at your grocery outlet. They're not in front. When they do finally show your minions that you're going to say, they're not minions. They're super duper grocery. Like every one of the managers told me that when I would just say minions. A pawn. You must see my videos. They're never gonna see it. If they saw one of them, they'd be like, oh, he's saying we could win the game or at least stalemate it. Which is the pawn. It is a fact. Now, if you don't want me to teach you chess, and that's the thing, educator of 25 years. But you should think just like, why would an educator of 25 years come in and just start doing everything that you're telling them not to do if he didn't know it was legal? And then you say you're going to call the cops. He goes around. You still don't call the cops. Then he goes around more until you hassle him, right? Going, hey, that classic thing. Hey, are you going to buy? Are you a customer? And I could have done the thing. I've been coming here before you were born. Just like those security guards, they're not cops, they're not PIs. Thomas Grant was not a good PI. He did a let's throw mama off of the bus thing with Courtney Love. Because if Christian Pfaff just whoop, died after it's known like they, they were hanging out, Kurt, and they were recording they were re-recording the cello tracks that were messed up by all those cellists. Oh my God. I think just the one from Ras Putina, that cellist, she rocked out, right? But they only used her during a tour. And at one point, yeah, check out. I'm gonna tell a story of your bipolarness. He wanted to tell her that he wanted to just be less. That's what they're trying to do. But she's like me. And she'd be trying all the time to just be improvising every time she gave a different performance. You see, and I bet those concerts were awesome. And he was letting it go kind of in Europe until they got to like Germany, I think, where he knew, well, now we're going to have this album, right? And you got to do it like the States. And so they got a Juilliard graduate instead, instead of getting Christian Pfaff. See, she was humble, I guess, or... Courtney just never let it out. Anyways, it was obvious they were gonna take off together, leave everyone in, in the dust. Thomas Grant, P.I. Lompoc, look it up. He took down one of my videos off of YouTube. He's actually admitted it to me. I filmed that, YouTube took it down, so I know they are, you know, at least Thomas Grant, P.I. You can hide behind it, but that's what you wrote to me. Nice fit, dude, and then you slammed it. Three times in a row, how do you guys do this? Like Larry David slamming one of my videos three times in a row because I'm on the shitter watching Seinfeld. No, explaining, you guys should see the opposite show. Why aren't you like my mama? Why don't you do the opposite? Why not do 
quatrine fume instead of the baloney. Why not do aioli instead of mayo from Kraft? Yeah, it's that thing. And nobody wanted to do it. And they always said, well, you told me the reverse show. And I know that the reverse show, it goes in reverse. And you don't want that, right? Well, yeah, you, you're telling me that. You know what I mean? They'll tell you the thing like, I didn't do the thing you asked for because I knew for sure that you didn't want me to do this other thing. And then you're in there going, but you... Did you hear it? And now I know that it's like putting in the one dollar. It's that easy. Did you put in the one dollar? No. Do you know what a First Amendment audit is? No. Firemen, policemen. No. Now, in this case, since this town is so stupid, I thought my friends at the Independent, well, we were running you, kind of. Come on. We were giving you content. We were making the city like not be like it is. Now, that's not my fault how it turned out. <laughs> Let's blame it on McConnell's. Yeah, I'm always depressed when I go to McConnell's, get some ice cream. <sighs> Sorry. It's done, yeah. So that 1830 cello made by Cosin, turns out, who does imposter cellos, but it's still worth a huge amount. It's worth nothing now. 